birthday. This one's called Banner of the Maid. So this is not a completely blind run. I did see someone else play, not all the way through, but most of it. Um, this is from a Chinese produ er, um, studio called Azure Flame. Inspired by historical events and characters, but it's all fictional. This is the French Revolution with waifus. And it's a strategy RPG much like Fire Emblem. Okay, I think the um, music's a little soft, so I'm gonna um, turn that up a, a little bit. Here. We'll go ahead and put this up to 10. So everything's in English subtitles, but this is, there's only uh, Chinese language available. Kind of wish those were, there was a French dub of this. But anyway, um, I've already done all the options and stuff. I'm in windowed mode. Um, so let's just begin. So officer mode, you can save the game anytime. Retreating causes no penalty. Save so the game a small amount of funds and reputation. So retreating, there's no permadeath, but you do get penalized in your funds if somebody dies during the, um, during the, uh, during there. General mode. You can save only once in each battle. Retreating causes penalty. Start the game with no extra funds or reputation. So yeah, so we're going to do general mode, because even though this is new to me, I've played a lot of strategy RPGs. This is why I play hard on Fire Emblem. And again, um, normal was kind of er, hard. Is, was kind of the GBA normal in um, in Fire Emblem. As your flame studio presents. Oh, I'm so ready for this. I'm going to butcher so many French words here. Summer 1791, Varennes, France. Varennes is not far ahead. You sure that the king will be here? I can only hope that it's true. Otherwise, the king of France might already be in the territory of another country. Be vigilant, uh, Marquis de, de Lafayette. If we don't bring the king back, the whole country will shake tomorrow. France can't afford this kind of blow during such a crucial moment. What is the king thinking? Can't he just stay put in the palace? Comte de, de Mirabeau, having just recovered from a serious illness, you should stay in Paris and rest. It was I who provided the intelligence. Of course I have the responsibility to accompany you and the troops here. I don't think they're the Garde Nationale. It's the army of the Royalists! They must be here to pick up the king! <laughs> then I'm counting on you. Not experienced in battlefield commanding or leading charges. Our actions tonight will ch change the fate of France. Marquis de Lafayette, please be sure to find the king and all of his entourage. Don't worry! You'd better take the time and think about how to persuade the king. What's that noise? Okay, here we go. 
The enemy has been alerted and are guarding the bridge. Anyway, move to the enemy first. Get close to attack. Show no mercy to these traitors. Okay. You just go up to them and attack. Yeah, they even use, like, G uh, 3DS era um, Fire Emblem sound effects. Go! Oh, he's he's OP. There's still one group of enemies left at the entrance of town. Hope the king is still there. No time to waste. Get it done now. Yep. Oh, we can't get there. Okay. Wait, can I attack? No, I can't. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go from behind. Might as well while I have the movement. Oh yeah! There. Okay, we got him. The Royalists were guarding this carriage. Let's get closer and take a look. Okay. So, oh, let's wait. Like the messenger said, it's the carriage that the king took. I'll leave the searching in town to you as I stay here to guard the carriage. Please try not to cause a disturbance. I'll deal with it, you can rest assured. Well, madame, please step outside. As I expected, it's her who stayed in the carriage. Surely you know what would happen next, yes? His Majesty is in the town, and Marquis de Lafayette will find him soon enough. Please come back to Car Paris with us. What will happen to our family when we return to Paris? The documents left by His Majesty confirm that he had betrayed the country and his peop and the people. You'll be detained as soon as you arrive in Paris. For France at this moment, betrayal is a delicacy in which friends inside and outside Paris are all eagerly awaiting to take their bite. Then what will become of my children, the future of the royal family? Your children will be taken care of. After all, they're from the bloodline of the royal family. In the current situation, their lives can only be held in the hands of others. Alright, please don't make any unnecessary resistance. This is the consequence of the royal family's behavior and you must take responsibility. Uh... Oh! This part I haven't seen. Sure enough, as predicted by the painting, the blue diamond has responded. It seems that you're the person I'm looking for. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not here for the king. What I'm looking for is the ability hidden in you. Anyway, what I'm about to say may be confusing to you. But please, listen to it carefully, then consider it seriously before answering my question. It's not only about you and me, but also about the future of the country. Oh. It seems that the king has been found. There's not much time. Please listen carefully. That was the most turbulent moment of my life. I escape from the gate of death, and my hands hold the key to cha change the future of the country. That was the legacy that had been passed down for hundreds of years and appeared in many stories and legends. 
Women who are affected by it are inevitably caught in a torturous fate. I hope this action won't be one of the many remorses in my life. I hope that they become uh, the maids of France that'll make the country peaceful and stable. Five years later, on the outskirts of Toulon, France. Pauline! So, the saying that the king was kidnapped is false? If the public knew the truth, the royal family should have been in prisons, or even worse. <laughs> it's just a story I heard while drinking. I'm telling you, I'm telling this story because you, my young lady, are too bored on the road. Oh, it was just a story. Speaking of which, I have heard several versions of similar stories. But the woman who changed the royal family may truly exist. After her intervention, there have been many changes in the royal family. Oh, young lady, do you really believe that so-called maid stuff? Wielding incredible talents, the maids were born to save the country in danger. I'm not sure. This young lady in military uniform claims to be a graduate of the École Militaire. Ever since women were allowed to join the army, the École Militaire has received a batch of female students who pass special testing. Ah, young lady, what's your name again? Pauline Bonaparte. She's Napoleon's sister. A rare surname. You're not a Parisian, are you? I'm from Corsica. What a coincidence! When I was young, I joined the army and went to Corsica. Speaking of that... <sighs> Never mind. What topic do you wish to discuss? Okay. Um, the situation of France, so what's going on there? Speaking of that, when I was young, I really couldn't believe a revolution would really happen. Ah, seven years ago, the, the king summoned the Est Estates General to solve financial problems. That's right, the clergy for the first estate, the nobility for the second estate, and the commoners for the third estate. The Estates General um, intensified the contradiction between the estates, and finally a revolution took place in Paris. The Bastille was uh, stormed and the king compromised, result resulting in the legitimate... legitimate... legitimate intimidation of the current assembly. Blah. Well, 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 you're quite familiar with the history. Then what uh, do you think of the revolution? I was in Corsica seven years ago and didn't know too much about Paris. I learned all of it later in the Ecole Militaire. But in the past few years, although power of the nobility has been weakened, the royal family stood unaffected. Well, the royal family changed their attitude after that, supported the reform of the assembly, and did a lot of unprecedented things. For example, girls like you were enrolled in the École Militaire. That's a policy promoted by the royal family, and they've made good use of the publicity. I know this too, but a soldier should not care too much about the political issues. Haha, <laughs> I can see that you don't care about politics. Otherwise, you would have known me. Really? Never mind. Speaking of the military... Yeah, let's go, um... Destination of my travel. Yeah. Young lady, have you been transferred to Toulon? There's a war going on there as I know. Or going on here as I know. My older brother is also a soldier, and he's serving in Toulon. I'm here to... Hmm, to take a vacation. In my opinion, now is not the time for military personnel to take a vacation. Domestic rebellions happen from time to time, and the wars with neighboring countries are also ongoing. As you said, as a soldier, it's time to fight for the country on the front line. Well, then why are you... To be honest, I have just experienced a fierce battle recently. Well, it was said to be a victory according to the final result. But I can tell it from your medal. Even if it's awarded by the royal family as a response to the current situation, it must be a considerable de degree of military merit. But the casualties were overwhelmingly heavy, which made me start to doubt whether I'm a suitable as a soldier. So you came here to talk to your brother about it? Yes. It was also my brother's recommendation that led me to apply for to the Ecole Militaire. 
Although he is strange and ambitious to outsiders, he's definitely a qualified soldier. Now that's a bit odd to hear such comments from someone's own sister. But speaking of Tolone, it's definitely not a good place for a vacation now. Okay, let's talk about the ongoing battle here. It has been half a year already since the traders within the city helped the foreign country or foreign army to occupy Toulon. The nearby cities that are affected by the war are also in a panic. Alas, people are suffering too much. The, this war must be ended as soon as possible. However, it is strange that not only the neighboring countries, Prussia and Austria, are attacking the city, but also the British. Since the House of Bourbon is still there, even if they're worried about the impact of the revolution, they shouldn't be rushing to rage a war. Even His Majesty uh, supports the Assembly to engage in war. It's really... Well, it's really abnormal, and there may be some unknown power in the back. Are you saying, like, the power of the maids? Who knows? However, it is not a strange thing for the king to support the war. Although the king has temporarily won the support of the people, the power of the royal family and the nobility are still weakening. If the revolutionist regime is defeated by the foreign troops, they will regain power. Do they even know how many people will die for this? Too bad, perhaps I really have chosen the wrong person. Huh? <laughs> Just my personal conjecture. In any case, war is inevitable. Okay, that's that's it. We got everything. So wait, menu. Can we change the scroll text here? I don't think I can, no. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, there's nothing else to say. Glory on the battlefield, defending the country. We joined the army for this purpose. But when we actually stepped onto the battlefield, it was a totally different thing. Hundreds of people will either survive or die on the battlefield because of our decisions. How can one take up these responsibilities? That I don't know. I'm not familiar with military affairs. However, you see, whether you're of the royal family or the common folks, who can really say if they can dominate their own fate? And according to my decades of experience, fate... Well, fate often won't get you, give you much choice. What do you think, young lady? In order to not make mistakes, would you let go of the opportunity to change your fate? Surely not. So much for the talk. We're nearing Tolon. Well, it looks like my ride ends here. The person that my brother sent to pick me up should be near. Then I'll bid you farewell. If you happen to visit me in Paris, I'll prepare more interesting stories and some refreshments for you. Thank you. And I have a few words to say before, to you before I leave. Yes? Your storytelling skills could use some work. Please do hone your speech before we meet next time. Ooh, <laughs> this is the first time I've had such an audience. This is the first time I saw Pauline Bonaparte. After that, she set foot on the battlefield again. And when will we meet again in Paris? It's several months later. The Cannons of Toulon. Is the guy supposed to pick me up still not here yet? I haven't seen Brother Napoleon for more than a year. News about his military merits on the front line can be heard from time to time. This area once w was once downtown. When the war broke out, civilians were evacuated, leaving only a mess here. People just want a stable and peaceful life, but they can't get it because of the war. Having said that, how come no one is coming? Did I come to the wrong place? Oh, cannons! Artillery? In the distance, it's very close! Marching. Damn it, it's the enemy force! 
You have already advanced this far? I have to find a place to hide immediately. Did the young lady come this way? Could she happen to be Bonaparte's sister? Can you hear me? Mademoiselle Bonaparte. No response. Then I'll have to search this entire area. Who's that blockhead yelling on the street? He might as well leave the enemies to us directly. Guess he must be the one sent by my brother. I can join him and escape from here. Anyway, let me check out their surroundings and a place where we can meet. Tut tut, it's the enemy scouts. A group of scattered soldiers. I need to defeat them to reach the intersection in the front. In any case, the safety of Mademoiselle Bonaparte must be guaranteed. Okay, where's Pauline? Advantages. Okay. Chasseur Cheval's light cavalry. Advantage against light infantry, but disadvantage against heavy cavalry. Okay, so, so this is Pauline. Okay, we'll wait there. It's a military cap of one of our soldiers. And it was hit by several bullets. It seems like the front line has expanded this town. Or to this town. The port's said to be occupied by British warships. I guess the situation is not looking very optimistic. I don't know how many soldiers have already been sacrificed on the battlefield. I'll take it with me. If I meet anyone friendly, it's easier for them to re recognize me. Okay. Okay, that's light infantry, I think. So let's take him out. Yeah, advantage. Nice. Oh, they still got me. Good, they missed a 74. Or 71. Okay. 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 100% chance to hit against a 96. Leclerc. Okay. Don't worry. Just wait for the plan to be prepared. Okay, just wait. In this basket is a bundle of fleur de lis. The petals are already withered. Under the rubble, a dead body? Seems to be some civilian who didn't have the time to evacuate. It is not the time for sentimentality. Keep moving forward. Okay, Iris Basket. I'm not going to use Heroic on this guy. I'll save it for the next guy. A piece of burnt banner. Not long ago, I was fighting with my comrades under this banner. Soldiers fought under my command, and although they uh, eventually repelled the enemy, most of them were killed. Was my leadership good enough? Okay. Yeah, they're gonna go right at me. I'm gonna end up using heroic on, on this guy. Okay, let's do it. No need to. If we're gonna, if we're gonna heroic this guy, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. 
，战斗吧，诸位！今天的胜利会成为美好明天的基石。There we go。都准备好了吗？好的，今天就我来打头阵吧。Are you Mademoiselle Bonaparte? This must be the guy who was yelling. His voice is so loud. Excuse me, are you with my brother Napoleon? I'm a subordinate of your brother, Charles Leclerc. Well, just like he described, Mademoiselle Pauline, or. You have the temperament that fits this military uniform perfectly. Um, is that what my brother said? <laughs> Except Mademoiselle Josephine. You're the one he talked about most. However, the fits the, this military uniform is part of my own opinion. Thank you. There are few people in the military who speak like you, Mr. Leclerc. <laughs> Men are women. Some people are born to be soldiers. Let's stop talking and standing here and go back to the camp first. There's an enemy line nearby and it'll be dangerous to stay here for too long. Yep, more bombardment. Look out, Pauline! It's the enemy artillery. Retreat now. What? Le Leclerc! I can't believe he's already dead. French camp, Toulon. The battle begins in four hours. Are you still the determined soldier that I knew? Is it you, Brother Napoleon? Yep, this is what Napoleon looks like here in this game. Leclerc asked me to bring you a message that you owe him a big favor. Don't forget to return it later. Monsieur Leclerc? Is he alright now? His legs were broken from diving in order to save you. And he'll return to Paris to rest tomorrow. If I had paid more attention to my surroundings, I would have noticed that the area had already been bombarded well, but once by the enemy. It was my poor judgment that led to Monsieur Leclerc's serious injury. Bad luck happens from time to time on the battlefield. Don't blame yourself. I've heard of your victory on the front line. You won the battle, but with heavy casualties. What, did you expect to get some compliments from me? Although the enemy was defeated and I was exceptionally commended, I can't forget the soldiers who died in that battle and I can't praise our victory. Should I really be considered a qualified leader? It was I who brought you to Paris. It was I who suggested that you enter the Ecole Militaire. Am I doing something wrong? No, it was my own decision to become a soldier. Recall your original intention for, of joining the army, Pauline. At this very moment, the, the war is still going on. The commander agreed to my plan not long ago. Tonight, we'll launch a general attack on the enemy's position. Once the fortress is occupied, we can use the cannons to drive the British warships out of Toulon. It is time for this battle to end. Since Leclerc is injured, I need another adjutant. What did say you? Are you coming with me? I... Make your decision. Indecisive people are unworthy of the battlefield. If you don't want to be a soldier anymore, I'll arrange someone to send you back to Corsica. I will stay, brother. Tell me about the battle plan. Good. Then find yourself something to eat first. You can't go to the battlefield with an empty stomach. Come to me when you're ready. Leclerc's injury is my responsibility, but I still can't leave the battlefield. Protect the people like us from the anguish of war. It's for this reason that we decided to join the army. Chapter 2, The Maid of Toulon. Keep firing! The enemy's resistance is still very strong! The battle against the enemy positions began in the afternoon and continued until the evening. The target of the attack is Fort Mulgrave, the most heavily fortified position of the enemy's defense around Toulon, and also the key point of my brother's plan. Once we occupy this position, our artillery can bombard the British warships in the port from the high ground, 
block the reinforcements and retreat routes at sea, and turn the tide of battle in one fell swoop. At the moment, our army has suppressed the enemy artillery, but still hasn't gained a decisive advantage. If the situation continues this way... Bonaparte, it's turning into a prolonged battle. The power of our artillery will be limited if we hold off till the night time. Hi, Rose! This is Rose de Beaumont, the artillery commander who is supporting my brother's offensive. Her name alone indicates that she's a noble, which is quite rare in the revolutionist-dominated army. Most aristocratic officers have been replaced by the revolutionists. Only a few continue to serve in the army due to the influence of the queen. Rose de Beaumont is uh, the most distinguished amongst them. Speaking of the legend of the maids, it has been taboo for the past hundreds of years that, as it's always retreat related to witches and hearsay. Recently, there have been positive rumors spreading in the country precisely because of the performance General Rose de Beaumont on the battlefield and the publicity of the royal family. The remaining shells are insufficient to support three or four rounds of artillery support. It's time to make a decision. Rose de Beaumont, pay attention to the tone of your voice. This is not the era which, when you nobles can criticize and boss around people in the army. Your responsibility is to coordinate the artillery, not issuing combat orders. This man is Hubert Mondego, the supervising adjutant set by the general. There are many rumors about him in the army. His former superiors have all become big shots, so he's been rapidly promoted in the army. Others who haven't received formal training like him aren't uncommon nowadays. Commander Bonaparte surely has his plan. Your reminder is unnecessary. Or are you just trying to make the take credit for his work so, with your so-called instinct of the maid? I'm just speaking as a common soldier. Indeed, we don't have enough ammunition nor enough time. It's now or never. Concentrate all the shells and launch the final bombardment on the enemy positions. I'll lead the infantry charge. We must seize the opportunity to occupy the battery on the shore. Pauline, you're with me. As for Monsieur Mondego, do you want how do you, or do you want to, to participate in the charge with us? <laughs> About that, I got a cold on the way here, so I'm not in condition for the charge. They'll be commanding their artillery support. I've already issued the plan to my subordinates. All I need to do is fire as planned. Well, the bombarding is crucial to the offensive, so I'll see to it personally. The troops are ready and waiting for orders, sir. Rainy day combat is extremely tough, and the most important thing is to inspire the soldier's courage. Put your ability to good use, Pauline. Let me know if you need my support anytime, Pauline. Understood. Get ready for the first round of bombardment. Fire! Uh, brace yourselves. We're under feast for bombardment from the enemy. Hold the line! As long as we hold Fort Mulgrave, victory is ours! Okay. Okay. Okay, so we... <clears throat> Here. Alright, let's go back. Can Pauline finish them off? Wait, let's use the regular musket for now. Yeah. Should I? Yeah. Attack. No, let's have um, let's have Pauline take a forward position. Ready. Alright. A uh, regular musket. The experimental is a ranged item. Okay, she can do 12. So let's do it. 
Down. Okay, let's just have Napoleon clean this. Oh wait, this guy's con. Yeah, this guy's computer controlled. Ouch. Okay. Oh, that's right, they reach in. Keep firing! Nice. Yeah, take on Pauline. Yes! Alright. So we're good there. They're just gonna hold formation, I think. Wait, how far can we go up? Yeah, let's just take this choke point here. And then it'll take a while for Rose to get into position to fire. So let's just wait. Pay attention to the target areas. Fire! Faster! Damn it! The enemy has already rushed our position! Who's that man with the messy hair? Who's that young lady? Could she be like Lady Wellesley? Not bad, the bombardment is going well, and Rose's arrangement is trustworthy. However, our enemy is very tenacious. Pauline, can you still hold on? Time is running out. Go all out and break through the enemy's defense. With my ability, I can maximize the courage of soldiers and strengthen their combat effectiveness. Although I got only one shot at the moment, now is the most critical time of the battle. Understood! Yeah, let's go ahead and wait, all right. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright, does she have the range? She does not. Okay. Let's just wait. Look the shit you shoot. Drum page and do. This is the last round of attacks. Fire! The position is almost lost. It was exactly like what Lady Wellesley said. The French will become our the greatest threat. The eagle from Corsica will ignite the fire of war that will sweep across the continent. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to eat bread. Just in case. Yeah, let's bait him. Oh, that's Yeah, it's a good thing I did. Alright. Pauline levels up. 
I don't think these are completely random like they are in uh, Fire Emblem. Alright. Is it just Pauline that has to get there? Yeah. We did it! Unbelievable! Although you're just temporarily taking command, you fought with such bravery. As impressive as your brother said. You've overpraised me. Seems to be my ability or something, Make this, making the soldiers become... In comparison, the targeting and timing of the cannons under your command were truly impeccable. It's rumored that you know every detail of the terrain no matter where you're fighting. Seems it's, that it's no exaggeration. Don't say that. This is all thanks to Monsieur Hubert, Hubert's strategic commanding, right? Haha. <laughs> you're totally right, or you're totally not the same as they said. Everyone thought the, that the maid of the royal family was a cold-hearted and grim person. Rose, the situation on the other fronts are still unclear. Tell the artillery to catch up quickly and attack the British warships on the front. Understood. Soldiers, ready the cannons! Your Excellency, it's the bombarding in the French! It seems that Fort Mulgrave has fallen. We should retreat as soon as possible. Before they block the port. Aye, aye, ma'am! This should be sufficient to force those stubborn old men to make up their minds and wage war against France. The status quo of this country is a, is a group of beasts fighting each other. And the one that survives will be the fiercest one yet. We should take the opportunity and defeat them now. However, this is not something for me to decide. Anyway, I should return home for some long-term discussions. La victoire est à nous. Victoire. Okay, we're... We won, basically. <laughs> Me in charge of trying to pronounce French. I see you're here, Pauline. Well, I can see the whole view of Toulon from here. Take a good look. This is a city we've liberated. Brother, how can you be so determined to implement a battle plan like this? In order to contain the enemy outside the city, our allied forces have been fighting so hard. Even so, we might not have enough time to occupy Fort Mulgrave. You're right. We're lucky to succeed in the end. Perhaps we should thank God for helping us. I, I, for one, can't make such a decision. Thinking of not being able to win the battle while soldiers fight with their lives. Maybe, maybe I'm not a qualified commander at all. Pauline, do you know what's more painful than a soldier's death? More painful? To let them die in vain under the command of incompetent generals. This is happening every day in the war. I believe that I'm the best choice that soldiers could possibly have, so I never hesitate when making decisions. But if I could come up with better plans... Pauline, did the instructors of the École Militaire not tell you? The talents of soldiers must be honed on the battlefield in order for them to blossom. Before that day, the soldiers who died under your command were the, are the responsibility you must bear. Do you remember our snowball fights back in Corsica? You won 35 times, I won 20 times. You have snatched 20 victories from the best soldier in France. Give yourself some credit. Brother. So much for the gossip. I have to prepare my personal report for Paris. Otherwise, God knows what Hubert would, will say. With this victory, the big shots in Paris should finally make up their mind and give me a chance to make a, a big difference. Remember to come and help me by then, Pauline. Understood! After the British warships re withdrew, remaining enemy forces on the land were quickly annihilated, and the flame of victory burned in the city of Toulon. However, the war is not over. Starting from Toulon, the conflict between France and all of Europe has become more intense. 
All this started with the revolution that took place in Paris a few years ago. Ago. Nowadays, the French royal family survives under the influence of a woman, which makes Paris a stage of order and chaos intertwined. Two months later, Paris, France. Paris is still the same city that it is so lively, even at this hour. La Maison Café. According to the map, I'm in the right place, but I don't see any signboard with this name nearby. After the siege of Toulon, my brother got an exceptional promotion because of his military exploits and the revolutionists' recommendation. I'm also invited to Paris by the royal family to receive my award. My brother asked me to find a café ran by a woman named Josephine and live there for the time being. We all heard your husband has already been executed on the guillotine. No one can protect you here. That's right, drive them out. This used to be our home. Hmm? This doesn't look like an ordinary quarrel. That's a matter of years ago. You have so much spare time to harass me. Why don't you go back to find and find a proper job? And don't blame me if I have to remind you that I have several old friends in the guards of Paris. Don't believe her nonsense! Those people have been locked in prison with her husband long ago! Get out of here, you serpent! Tut tut, this is getting ugly. This must be the mama of his own cafe. Are you Madame Mibuhane? My brother Napoleon Bonaparte should have something written about my visit. Or should have written about my visit. Napoleon, you must be... Stop wasting time already! Someone help me and throw her out! Hey you, don't do anything stupid! Mm, rogues on the street looking for trouble? Seems that a fight is inevitable. Stop it now! Are you people not ashamed of bullying an aged woman? An aged woman? Ouch, who is this young lady? Wait, she seems to be wearing a military uniform. That said, you must be Pauline Bonaparte. Too bad you're seeing that you're seeing this come with me to the cafe now what'd she say Pauline Pauline Bonaparte it's it's the man of Toulon damn what trouble have you got us into I'm done with it hey old man you better watch it <laughs> fortunately my brother taught me how to fight back in Corsica also my swordsmanship which was taught by instructor Dayon but the maid of Toulon what are they talking about they must be hired by nearby gangs to make trouble. After all, my salon cut a uh, business from them when it was booming. Reve de vol raconter, um, Madame de Buharnay. My brother should have mentioned it in the, his letters. I apologize if I'm bothering you by living here during my stay in Paris. Just call me Josephine. So, you're Napoleon's sister, huh? Excuse me. My brother clearly said it was a stylish, magnificent place. Why is it so run down? Run down? Young lady, I didn't promise anyone to let you live here, now did I? What? What do you mean? It seems that you still don't know it, but that your story is spread all over Paris. The flower of the battlefield that bloomed in Toulon, and the maid of France that's equal to Rose de Beaumont? Something like that. What? What is going on here? I obviously didn't... In short, you're already a star in Paris. If you live here, maybe it would bring in some unexpected trouble. Alas, it's okay to lend you a room here, but you'll have to help me out. Oh, of course, anything that I can do. Then join my Club de Maumaison and be my adjuvant. What? It was a small organization that I gathered by hosting the salon here. It was quite popular in the past. Although, as you can see, after my ex-husband died, it was gradually deserted. I'm not the kind of person who gives up easily. However, to make a comeback, I need someone to help. I'm sorry, I can't stay in Paris for too long. And I know and I don't know much about social that you don't have to worry about. The rising stars in the army, just like you, are the best political signboard. 
Just like the Jacobins, uh, Jacobins soliciting your brother. If you keep earning military merit on the battlefield, there will be people who are willing to worship you, and the influence of our faction is guaranteed. When you come back to Paris, you have to occasionally deal with the commissions that you're asked, tasked with by the big shots, and everything will go smooth. And keeping a good relationship with our other factions would also benefit you in various ways. Your brother's promotion is a good example of this. Of course, with your current fame, you can also dodge your service to the big shots, or simply declare loyalty to the royal family. Then I'll stay with you. If you need my help with anything, please don't hesitate to tell me. Hmm? Are you sure you want to stay in such a small place? Of course! My brother said that you're a reliable person. Moreover, I want to gain a foothold in the army with my own skills. Good for you! However, if you want to help, do you know the rules of etiquette for social occasions? Well, in short, always strike first with a decisive attack. That's what my brother taught me. Oh, you two are truly brother and sister. Well then, there's a room available upstairs. It used to be my husband's room. You can live there for the time being. It's already quite late to the day. Go get some rest. The location Malmaison's salon has been unlocked. The faction Melmizons has been unlocked. On the second floor of the Melmizons Cafe, listening to the sound of the carriages that occasionally pass by the window, I recall my life in the Ecole Militaire. According to Josephine's instruction or er, introduction, Paris has changed a lot compared to the days when I was in the Ecole Militaire. The Foulants, led by the commander in chief of the army. Marquis de Lafayette, and the impending uh, constitutional monarchy are now the main authorities. And the king's declaration of supporting the revolution had won over many supporters of the royal family among the common folk and noble outside Paris. Because the political their political views match the voices of the people, the prestige of the Jacobins is rising. My brother is among them, too. The situation continues to change, and all factions are trying to win the support of the Parisian citizens. I couldn't help think of the classmates I had in the Ecole Militaire. Eugenie, Cosette, Charlotte. I wonder how they're doing now. I met them, said farewell, and went to the battlefield. I witnessed the soldiers die under our banner. I tasted victory and pain. I thought about giving up, up my identity of being a soldier, but eventually I stayed. Not only because of the persuasion of my brother and others, but because of my own also because of my own pursuit. When I'm on the battlefield, I have a special ability to inspire soldiers with the courage and motivate them to move forward. As if I can naturally win their trust, although I still don't know where this ability comes from. And because of this, I can't take the responsibility of a commander as decisively as my brother. There's still a few there's still a few days before the banquet held by the royal family. Until then, what should I do with my free time in Paris? Hmm. I'm actually going to practice sword swordsmanship here. By practicing the swordsmanship taught by Dayon every day, I have new understandings of the timings of attack, or the timing of attacks. Pauline has acquired a new skill. Attack plus one. All right. A few days later, in the Mama's own salon, you can take the side quests and view information such as the gallery and the career achievements. The current influence of the Mao Zones is not high enough to provide side quests to you. Try to attack the attention of other factions first. Talk to Josephine to find out what to do now. Okay. What does she say? Pauline! Why are you still wearing this military uniform? The banquet is about to begin! As a soldier, I think it's more appropriate that I wear my uniform to the banquet. Nonsense! Certain occasions require certain outfits. This is one of the basic skills, skills of social etiquette. Now go to the bedroom and put on the dress I have prepared for you. But I insist... I said now! 
Otherwise, you're not going to sleep on the street tonight. Otherwise, you're going to sleep on the street tonight. Okay. A few moments later. I really like that dress. Uh, what now? Tut-tut. <laughs> Isn't it perfect for you? Now that you're ready, get going. The banquet is held in the Palais de, tu de Tuileries. Uh, you're one of the honored guests, so don't be late. Okay. So we unlock that location. Select the ma map icon in the lower right corner and select the location in Palais de Tuileries. Come on. There's dialogue here, too. I had to wear this dress for the banquet, although I didn't want to. The address on the invitation is Palais de Tuileries. Okay. So I got that. Reputation. So we do that's the only faction that I'm in. Can I get entrustments from various factions in Paris when you are free? If you don't leave now, you can't get to the banquet on time. I know, I know. Anyway, I'm going to the Palais de Tuileries. Okay, let's just go there. So we're at the palace. Oh, King Louis the Sixteenth. Well then, allow me to say a few words. The royal family is very... Uh, very pleased to be able to help these outstanding generals and give them a chance to contribute to our country. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses and give a cheer for the heroes of France. Alas, the wine of the royal family is truly outstanding. Don't be drinking like you have no tomorrow. Is that Monsieur Robespierre there? Maybe I should go and say hello. Whatever. Those revolutionist paranoids are the ones with no future. I'd rather take this opportunity to fawn over the royal family. I heard that the queen will be here, too. Gentlemen, please be careful to keep up your etiquette and do not offend other guests. Oh, of course, of course. Very good, then. I wish you a pleasant evening. <sighs> the brown noser of the nobles. When I'm in power someday... Nobles and the rich are all attending the banquet of the royal family. However, the atmosphere in Paris doesn't seem very harmonious. Too bad, I'd rather have worn my uniform, but Josephine said, The banquet is the social battlefield. The dress she prepared for me fits perfectly. How'd she do that? Is this the maid of Toulon? You look like an ordinary girl. And you are... You've heard my name, Robespierre. I'm a member of the Club de Jacobin, like your brother. Robespierre, according to Josephine, is the core member of the Jacobins, which has been very popular among the people recently. Recently, the Assembly appointed Napoleon to the Armée d'Italier as the Commander-in-Chief, and our faction helped a lot with his appointment. But I didn't expect the royal family would send young ladies of your age to the battlefield. Pauline, why is the protagonist of the banquet hiding in the corner? Marie Antoinette, your majesty. <laughs> that is Marie Antoinette. Let's see your robes here is here too. What are you two discussing? Uh, about that. We're discussing whether it's appropriate to send such a young lady to the battlefield. Nowadays, as the country is in distress, even such a young lady has the right to stand up and fight. Is that so? Depends on whether she's really defending the country, or just forced to help the royal family to win over the people. After all, the so-called maid is quite suspicious. People are more familiar with the name Witch, am I right? You can make a religion- oh, no, don't. Once you're ropes Pierre, you're as sharp as ever. But their valorous performance on the battlefield is an indisputable fact. 
As for whether she's forced by the royal family, why wouldn't we ask Pauline's own opinion? How's your relationship with the royal family? Let's talk about the Malmai Zones. Speaking of which, Josephine once asked me to promote our faction which, when I had the opportunity. Is now the opportunity? Anyway, it's now or never. I remember Josephine's slogan is... Ladies and gentlemen, please! Please listen to me! What? <laughs> Are you worrying about daily food and clothing? Are you still worried that the future about the future of your family? Do you still think that the life of the upper class is out of reach? Worry no more. Join the new salon held at the Malmaison Cafe for your new future. It's a place of pleasant scenery and comfortable seats, and it's hosted by by the famous social celebrity Madame de Beauharnais. The Malmaison sincerely welcome you. Come and be the future stars of Paris. I don't think that went over very well. Anyway, Madame de Beauharnais. I have heard of her. She's a very energetic woman. Alright, that sounds like a good place to relax. I'm interested, too. Anyway, it's an impressive speech. Yay! Plus 50. However, you still haven't answered the question. Okay. Let's see. I'll thank the royal family here. I was able to enter the Ecole Militaire because of the Queen's policy. If it was not for help for the help from the royal family, I wouldn't have the chance to achieve meritorious deeds on the battlefield. Okay, Royalist plus 50. Well, I hope that Mademoiselle Bonaparte can keep it in mind that the people of France are also paying attention to your every move. That being the case, if you don't mind, I have something to talk to Mademoiselle Bonaparte about in pi private. Well, it's almost time for me to leave. Please do enjoy the banquet, Mademoiselle Bonaparte. It's been a long time since we last met, Pauline. I heard that you left for vacation after being awarded the medal, and I was worried that you wouldn't re return the ar to the army. Her Majesty the Queen, Marie Antoinette from Austria. Josephine said that it was her suggestion for the King of the Foilants to join hand and save the royal family. It was also her suggestion to select women with special talents to join the army. Is she the woman in the Comte de Mirabeau's story? After all, the war is still going on. Don't you wish to stop the war with your motherland? The king, however, did declare that he supports the war against Austria. The banquet today is held to honor the heroes on the battlefield. Pauline, what do you think is that can make a hero out of someone? Huh? I think... I think being a hero is to achieve something that ordinary people can't do. And I think only those who can make choices in critical circumstances are willing to bear the consequences can be heroes. Yeah, there's collateral damage. Pauline, haven't you ever hesitated to make choices because it was difficult for, to foresee the consequences? Just like when we first met in the Ecole Militaire, the Queen seems to be able to see through other people's minds. Your Majesty, do you mean that I should put the interests of the country before my own, just like you did? No, I think I'm just someone who can't be a hero. Not all that Monsieur Mirabeau had told you is true. Ah, the banquet is almost over, and your appointment has just been announced. You have to travel all the way to Italy after this. Understood. I'll join the Armée d'Italie, where my brother is. Speaking of the enemy on the Italian battlefront, that's an army from your homeland, the Austrian army. As I said at the École Militaire, both the king and I had hoped that you girls would become the true saviors of the country, the maids of France, and change its future. If you need any help, just come to me. The Royalists will back you up at any time. It's late. You should go back to rest. I didn't mention that I know the Comte de Mirabeau, did I? How did the Queen... Forget it. It's very late now, and if I stay out outside any longer, Josephine will be mad at me. <laughs> if 
Phew, relieved at last. The situation is getting more and more tense in Paris. It was Her Majesty the Queen who sent us to the École Militaire. I assume it was also the royal family who used to spread the rumors of the maids in Paris. Do they want to gain the support of the people through female officers trained by the royal family? Anyway, I should get prepared for my new appointment. There are still a lot of things to prepare before I leave for Italy. Please wait a minute, Mademoiselle Bonaparte! And you are? Louis Charles Antoine de Sai. I wasn't able to find you at the banquet. I was planning to invite you for a dance back there. So he's General de Sai? He looks like he's around the same age as my brother. He said that he was a noble, but joined the army as a revolutionist. His, and his prestige among the people is very high. I'm not used to being on social occasions. You're quite similar to Napoleon. Oh, right. Here's something that Her Majesty the Queen forgot to give you when you left. I'm here to hand it over to you. Is this a banner? It's a replica of the banner held by the heroine who saved the country hundreds of years ago. The royal family hopes that you can inspire soldiers on the front line with it. This pattern is... It's the banner of the Maid of Orleans, Joan of Arc. Jan d'Arc. Yeah, it's Janu! <laughs> the girl who saved France several hundred years ago. It's said that, he, that she could even hear the voice of God. Why are they giving me her banner? What's the matter? Are you willing to uh, unwilling to accept it because it's from the royal family? No, it's because I still have doubts about whether I'm qualified to command soldiers on the battlefields. Is it so? As far as I know, a talented officer such as yourself is quite desired in the army. General Desai, didn't you have any doubt when you stepped foot on the battlefield? I heard that was because you were a nobleman. You were entrusted by your superiors at first. Yeah, I did have some doubts. Some of my problems still re remain unanswered for now. However, problems encountered on the battlefield can only be solved on the battlefield. This is what I think. Anyway, I've already handed over the banner to you. Say hello to Napoleon for me next time that you meet. I certainly will, and thank you very much for your answer. In addition, if we have the opportunity to meet again at the banquet, I hope you give me some honor to or give me the honor to dance with you. What? I think I need to go go home first. Hmm. Will everything we do really lead this country to a better future? New quest available. Royalist has been unlocked. Location Caserne has been unlocked. Select the map in the lower right corner location kiss there and to continue the main story okay so we can go side questing I think you didn't get to live in the part that apartment for free you know that there's work to, to be done the king and the attendant in order to expand the influence of the newly established faction known as the Malmaisons Josephine urgently needed to get in touch with the big shots this time Pauline received an invitation from the royal family Pauline, Pauline, where's that girl? Madam, what's the matter? So, just call me Josephine and skip the rest. Oh, well, quit it. Don't just play with wild cats all along. You have something serious to do. There's an invitation from you. It's from... Oh my, it's from the king himself! What? Is Majesty the king? After all, your performance is related to the reputation of the royal family. Perhaps that's why his majesty wants to talk to you in person. This is a great opportunity. The Malmaison will be famous in no time. So, is there no m better name for our faction? What? Are you dissatisfied with the, this name? Do you prefer the names of other faction? The Firefish? The Feathers? On second thought, the Malmaison will sound great. Alright, go get yourself properly dressed up now. No way! Do you want me to wear that dress again? I think his, that His Majesty wants to see a prepared soldier. You make a good point. Well then, decide for yourself. Meeting with the king. I'll go in the uniform. 
I'm wearing a military uniform. Wearing a dress always makes me feel uncomfortable. As much as I like that dress, yeah, let's... This is probably official military business. You're here on time, Mademoiselle Bonaparte. A real soldier indeed. After all, I was summoned by His Majesty the King himself. Recently, not all that have been summoned by His Majesty the King are visiting so promptly. This way, please. Your, Majest Your Majesty, Mademoiselle Pauline de Bonaparte is here. Oh, oh! Nice to meet you, Citizen Bonaparte. I'm honored to meet you, Your Majesty. What is the king playing with? A lock? <laughs> oh, this one. This is, uh, this is a little research of mine. Some craftsmanship. Well, His Majesty is very passionate about the craftsmanship of locks. Speaking of which, the guillotines used now were also improved or according to His Majesty's suggestions a few years ago. Oh, that. It was indeed a, my sudden idea. Sometimes such great inspiration comes out of nowhere. For example, you look at this lockbox. With a key rotated three times, you can open a hidden space. What should I do? The king seems to be waiting for my comment. Yeah, let's... let's, um... Let's entertain him a little. This design is amazing, Your Majesty. I think the public would be surprised and marvel by your wisdom. Oh, you see it too. I knew that even the citizens would understand its delicateness. Yay. The craftsmanship is yours is truly unique, you ma Your Majesty. But today you've invented Mademoiselle Bonaparte for other reasons. Ah, yes, right. Citizen Bonaparte, I hear that you're about to leave for Italy. As Your Majesty said, I'm leaving in a couple of days. And and the Queen once told me that she admired you for your that you performed a lot of your deeds of merit for the royal family on the front line. Well, I did win some battles thanks to the courage of our soldiers. Well, I'm also very pleased. And the royal family wants to acknowledge your merit with some with extra commendation. Since you're going to Italy, a lot of money is definitely needed. The royal family is specific or specially prepared some funds for you. I hope that you can make good use of it. Barry, please make sure it's done properly. I'll take my leave for other affairs that require my attention. Well then, Mademoiselle Bonaparte, please accept this as the appreciation for your contribution to this to the country. Thank you very much. However, it's the first time that I've ever talked to His Majesty. It feels somehow... After all, His Majesty unwillingly took his time to improve the guillotines, which nobody knows who will be lying under it in the future. Er, Monsieur Barry, I didn't mean that. But His Majesty also sincerely hopes that the country would become stable. Mademoiselle Bonaparte, please do convey His Majesty's wishes to the people should you have the opportunity. Okay. Speaking of... Which, er, speaking of which, I'm also working with the Malamaisons under Josephine, Madame de Beauharnais. If the royal family uh, happens to need some publicity, you can... Do you run errands for her? This Madame de Beauharnais is really terrific. I see. I remind His Majesty the King and Her Majesty the Queen about this. Thank you. Well then, I wish you a glorious victory in Italy. Okay, so that worked out well. 500 more funds. Huh? Okay. Well, first we're gonna save. Okay, so we got... You have to... You have to do it by... Okay. Yeah, it looks like the Malmai Zone is what I should be um, going after in the early going. Alright, um, I'll be right back. I need to, need to go for a bit. Yeah, I'm 
let's go ahead and 